And another venue that will have air conditioning at the festival is a new one too, the Inn on Broadway. I went from Jazz Street to check them out in the historic building today. The Inn on Broadway was first built in 1929 as the University Club for the University of Rochester. It has since been entered into the Register for National Historic Places. But a new ownership group bought it in 2022, and if we keep fast-forwarding a bit with operator Amy Van Dusen. In the 90s, it flips over from this clubhouse, and then UVAR sells it. It gets renovated into a hotel as an investment in the community to keep the building going, and then you have now where it's been operating as such since. They have a number of luxury hotel rooms on the third and fourth floors, a newly remodeled and retooled restaurant, cocktail bar, and a private dining room on the first floor. This will be the first time the inn will be a jazz festival venue. Event coordinator Paulina Rovello. So I just want everybody to come together, forget your blues from the winter, and, you know, come together and have a good time, listen to great music. I can't wait for J Jay Sennett to play. Other artists include the yeah. Doxus Brothers and Manuel Valera. The music will take place on the second floor in the ballroom every night. Van Dusen says it's their goal to continue to make the inn a bigger part of the community, now and beyond. And the Jazz Festival will certainly springboard their efforts. And then by the fall, we are going to continue making investments in this space. And there may be a jazz club downstairs. Uh, you know, there may be a fitness center here soon. There may be lots of things happening that it's worth coming to check out so you can be part of the changes along the way.